Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I am Justin, and today is a new video, a new day, and a new review. So, um, first, let's start with updates. We got our coffee here. We've got our coffee. We've got a microphone on the desk here. We're gonna go over, and um, we're still in our new space. So. Uh, we're gonna keep recording here. We do have our first full-on session here. Now the uh, studio is finished. Um, we're completely finished. We have a session coming up this weekend where we're going to be recording a full band in here. So we might do some content on that. Um, we're still working out some of the content for our guitar amps over here. Um, but today we wanted to show you a microphone that isn't necessarily old or new. Um, they've been out for a while. I'm sure there's plenty of views. I haven't seen very many reviews of them, so this might be a new thing. So we'll take a drink of coffee here and we'll get uh, moving on to our video. All right, so we've got in this box here, uh, not necessarily an overly special microphone, but it is a microphone that is special to me because I've always wanted one. Um, early 2000s, there was a company called Cascade Audio or Cascade Microphones. Um, they had a couple different names, I think, throughout their history. Um, and they made ribbon mics very affordably. And they made very good ribbon mics, very affordable. Like, I'm talking the three, $400 range, which at that time was kind of unheard of. Um, now you can get, like, MXL makes a ribbon mic. I've had a couple of those that are great. You can get um, AEA makes some even some affordable ribbon mics in that six to $700 range, which I've got one in the back of the room here. Um, but this microphone, this one is, is very special. I have two of these actually, so I'm just going to show you one of them, but they're both identical. Um, except for this one has a wooden case and the other one has a wooden, and the other one doesn't. The other one's in a box, just a regular cardboard box. But this one is special, so as I open it here, I'll show you what it is. Um, in this box, and this is just a padded, padded box as I drop it, man. This has got the Lundell, so that's why it says it on there it says Lundell on the mic but it's this microphone um, as you can see here this is a Cascade Fathead 2 um, this is serial number 202 um, I don't know if it's 200 and the 200 second one they made or if that's just how they did it but um, if I unscrew it here you can see what's special about this one is it's got a transformer inside it and so does the other one um, you can see it's got this big transformer in it um, and that's really about it. It's a ribbon mic, so they're figure eight. Um, XLR and, you know, XLR connection. Some, some ribbon mics are a little different where they've got a little bit different connection on them. Put this back together here. Um, but yeah, it's a ribbon mic, so you've got phantom, or you've got basically pickup here and pickup here. So it's a figure eight, so you can pick the front end and the back end of the mic. Um, I bought these to be room mics or just various other things. Um, right now, you can get them pretty inexpensive. I've seen them in the $200 range. I've seen them in the $150 range, $180, $300. Um, but yeah, it's, there's not much to the microphone. It's just a ribbon mic. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of videos on them. And I believe they're they're long. They might be a long ribbon or a short. I can't remember if they're a long or a short ribbon in these. Um, I don't have much documentation because I bought these used. Um, so I'm going to put it back. I'm going to keep holding it. I was going to put it back in the case, but I think I'm just going to keep holding it. Um, so ribbon mics, you don't want to get uh, up on it tightly, but you know you don't want to blow into them. You'll, you'll bust the ribbon in them. But that's really that's all I have to say about this microphone is um, we're going to do some videos on how it sounds like, hey, how does it sound as a drum mic? How does it sound as a room mic? How does it sound as guitar cabinets? Um, we used to use these a lot in a couple studios that I did some work in where we basically use them as like, not a close up guitar mic, but you know, maybe a good three feet back. So you have your, your amp here and the mics here type thing, kind of picking up a little bit of room noise. Um, might try it on bass guitar because they do have a nice bottom end to them. I love ribbon mics on kick drums. You know, you can put a kick drum here and offset it from the hole so you don't get that plus of air. And it just gets a nice fat low end to it. Um, yeah, there's, like I said, there's not much to the microphone itself. It's got a nice, uh, I think it's an aluminum body. It's got a little bit of weight to it because it's got the transformer in it. These are Lundahl transformers. So that, in case I didn't say it already, that's what they are. They're Lundahl transformers. 
So the nice thing with the transformer is if uh, most ribbon mics don't have transformers in them, so they have a low output. So the transformer will help bring the output of these guys up, so you'll get um, a much louder uh, output from them. Um, not saying that ribbon mics generally don't do that, but this one has transformer in it. Um, I don't know if my AEA does or not. I haven't really... That's another thing I gotta go into, but that's a great mic too. I um, absolutely love the AEA stuff, but this is a mic that I've always wanted, Cascade, and the Cat Fathead 2 was one that I always looked hard hard for, and they were hard to find for a while, but I found a couple that popped up on Reverb, so um, these were our Reverb finds of the week. Um, also, so you know, most of these Fatheads, the front was always, and that's this way on most microphones, the front's always the side with the badge or the name, you know, Cascade is the front, where that, where that branding is, that's the front of the mic. So this is the front, this is the back, there's no markings, that's just kind of how I, I've always been known for these microphones to have their pattern, but you could flip it around and the back side is a little darker, front side's usually a little brighter, so sometimes you can get some different tonalities out of them. Um, I haven't used them for vocals, although I know a lot of people do use them for vocals. Um, I wouldn't. That's just me. It's a thing that I wouldn't want to do, um, but um, we've got this one, and then, I've, like I said, I've got another one that's over here on the shelf that's identical to this one. Just it's in a, it, This one came in a nice wooden box. The other one came in the cardboard box. So that is what it is. But, and then we are at the AEA in the back. So probably in the coming weeks, we'll do some, sh some sort of, short of? Some sort of uh, shootout between the, the, the Lundell Cascade and the AEA and just try to see what the difference is. And then maybe even throw in a condenser mic so you can kind of hear, okay, this is what condensers do and this is what a ribbon does. We're, we're working on some content, so, um, but as of today, this is what we're doing. So um, it is Halloween. So for those who are out there doing trick-or-treating, you know, be safe. And you know what? Also, don't forget to hit the like and the bell and all the subscribe buttons for our channel so you can get uh, notifications on content that we put out. Um, also, if you guys find our content um, very uh, entertaining or useful or informational or whatever it is, um, share it with your friends and stuff. Um, you know, we are pushing, I think, 300 subscribers right now, which doesn't seem like a lot, but we're trying to do our best to get to get more. And you know, we'd like to hit the 500 mark by the end of the year. So we'll see what happens. Um, don't know if we will or not, but it would be kind of cool. Um, it's just some goals we have set. So, but thanks for watching. And like I said, don't hit. Don't forget to hit those likes and bells and notifications, and we'll see you next time. Have a happy Halloween.